first question that always pops up on uh, Reddit is, how do I become an architectural visualizer and do I need a degree to become one? Uh, no, you don't need a degree. Um, like a lot of people who are in architectural visualization may have a degree in architecture or engineering. Like uh, when you look at my background uh, and how I got into this game, um, and then you do get a lot of architects who, uh, or even architectural technologists who, who go into architecture and then just have a flair for the visualization side of it. So in terms of having to have a degree, no, you don't. One of the, the biggest things that I look for uh, is, is talent, you know, and, and to be, to, I think this spans any sort of profession, sports person, and to be the best you can be, you just have to be uh, practice, 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 you know, um, and funny enough, I'll always look at a CV secondary to what looking at a portfolio. If a portfolio grabs my attention, it's I'll, I'll then uh, go to the CV. So CV is kind of secondary to can what sort of talent they have, what sort of portfolio, what sort of projects. Um, and I, what I find actually sometimes is you'll get an architectural visualizer and they will uh, their portfolio will focus too heavily on one specific type of deliverable whether that's interior cgis or whether that's exterior cgis so if you're going to pigeon if you're going to go down a road a very specific road make sure that you state that okay because um you know or else update your portfolio to have a, a broad spectrum so for example all our visualizers here we really try and uh, work on them being across the board in terms of uh, exteriors interiors uh, animations. It is difficult, I'll say, um, because some people are uh, just more talented at certain areas, you know. So, um, what you call it? So you will get that with freelancers. But in terms of in terms of qualifications, no. But there are there are qualifications out there. Uh, there are um, you know online courses. Uh, there's also colleges that um, you know will do a, a their syllabus will be modeling, visualization, even uh, physical model making. And then you can uh, you can uh, specialize after a couple of years into the area that fits your um, fits your talent and your uh, desires, like in terms of of where you want to go with your profession. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, uh, like, it's not a lot of industries do require that degree, but for you looking at CVs, it's it's mainly the portfolio. Or the, I suppose the proof that and um, yeah for for architectural visualization 100% like you know like you can have all the qualifications you want but if you can't produce good imagery now we are only talking right now specifically about architectural visualization so you know um like there are other areas of the business where yes I would look at qualifications you know because they're they're going to be important and um, because they're they're more technical areas of the business, so that's that's a different kettle of fish. But for architectural visualization, one hundred percent would look at would look at the portfolio first and secondary, uh, then look at the qualifications. You know? Yeah, perfect. And um, like for for us here, it's usually we do require people to have two years experience. But again, it is the portfolio, and um, that is yeah. the end all. Yeah, you can have someone that's massively talented. Uh, Who's who's like a year's experience, you know? Like it doesn't matter if you can you can have. I've seen I've seen stuff online and people have been working for 10, 15 years, and their work might not be as good as someone who's got one to two years mm -hmm. experience, you know. So it is about it is about uh, you know the the quality of your portfolio, and and to get that quality though, you have to be working. You have to eat, sleep, breathe. Uh, whatever you, if you want to be the best at what you can do, and that whether that's in your profession, whether it's sport, whether it's your personal life, you have to just it's it's that you know that ten thousand hour rule uh, where to to be to be uh, um, what you call the best at something, not the best, but to to be able to be consider yourself the the best in your eyes at something. It's the ten thousand hour rule. So it's it's you know I've seen it where you get someone who. You, you will get a lot of uh, visualizers who will uh, who will transition who will do modeling themselves and stuff uh, and they'll be very good modelers as well and they've come from a modeling background but prefer the visualization so you'll get that crossover of those type um, and a bit of post-production and um, 
but they have to be they have to be working in the software of visualization 24 7 you know what i mean to be amazing at what they uh, at visualization yeah that makes sense and you mentioned uh modeling uh 3d modeling uh, by way of plugging the company, uh, we are actually hiring uh, Revit modelers at the moment. So, if the- <laughs> that's like good segue, Ken. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> just good just segue. throwing that, throwing yes, that out are. there now. Uh, if there is anyone interested, just uh, drop us an email uh, to info at 3 yeah. yeah. Revit, mod- Revit modelers are always welcome, all right? Yeah, yeah. We, we never have enough. <laughs> <laughs>